Okay. So anyway, um, Jack Nicholson goes in to investigate this scary-ass room. And at first he doesn't really see anything. He's just like, oh, well, you know, my kid... Oh, Adam and Tortoise. Adam and Tortoise, you're gonna die. He's just like, oh, well, my kid must be, you know, kind of loopy. You know, there's nothing really in here. Oh, crap, that, that Adam and Tortoise. I gotta get a guy to punch the shit out of that guy. Wow, we're cleaning up. I really don't want... I really don't want those ogre mages... Those ogre lesbians to... Oh, no. No! Okay, that wouldn't really do anything. No, no! She's pulling icicles out of her tits. Ugh. They're disgustingly warm and yet cold. Ah. Anyway, I've got a funny story about... Well, I'll just say it really quick. Uh, one time when I was in high school, this chick with, like, huge... Huge boobs took my phone when I was texting, stuck it in her cleavage, and told me to go get it. And I did, and that was actually the end of that. There was really nothing else beyond that. She just randomly one day felt like making me take this phone out of her cleavage. Hey, power staff. I'm getting one of those myself. <laughs> anyway. Laugh out loud. Constantly. So, Stanley Kubrick, this movie, Jack Nicholson, goes into this room to investigate his kid's strangulation marks, and the room number, for some reason, they changed it in the book. Or, they changed it from when they were doing the movie to the book. The book has it as 217, the movie has it as 219, for whatever the fucking reason that is. Um, and basically, he goes into the room, and he hears something coming from the bathroom, and he goes in there, and he sees this woman take, like, bathing. And she stands up, and she looks at him, and Jack Nicholson goes over to her, obviously in a trance. And I'm just sitting there, by the way. My mother's still out in the backyard. She doesn't know anything that's happening. I'm just like, whoa, this is kind of... Yeesh, I'm glad my mom stepped out for a second. Ooh, this would have been kind of awkward. And and then Jack Nicholson starts making out with this totally naked chick. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. These are the nice guys that heal us. Let's teleport them. So anyway, um... I can't really do anything else with her. Oh, no, I, I feel bad. Lakitu, how dare you? Nice. Cure six. Oh, why are they all doing it to Lagatu? She's the one who killed one of you guys. Okay, good. Thank you. Whew. I don't know what your guys' problem was. Ooh, that looks nasty. What? That healed him? Okay. Okay, magic apparently heals these guys. Odd. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You probably would do something... Mind-bendingly terrible if you're allowed to heal like three times or something. I'll bet you that's what it is, too. So anyway, Jack Nicholson starts making out with this random chick, and then, uh... He, like, hears her laughing for- or he, like, pulls back to look at her, and suddenly, she turns into this, like, 90-year-old rotting woman with no pupils, and she's just standing there looking saggy and bloated and... She's got these big gaping sores on her face and arms and just... And she starts laughing and laughing and she pulls Jack Nicholson close and I'm just like, Oh my god, what the fuck? And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I was like 13, 12, whatever, I was fairly young. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And I'm, I, I get up and I'm like, wow, hey mom, you're missing something, what the... What? What? And I was just so flabbergasted and... When I read the book later on, the scene pretty much plays out, you know, point for point, and uh, just that number 217 has always been not good. A less than desirable number that always makes me think of that scene. So there you go, there's a little bit of uh, shared trauma with you guys. Do you guys have any, uh, do you guys have any movie, like, clips or scenes that have kind of traumatized you that comes to mind. I'm trying to think of another one that's really freaky. Um, I actually, one thing that I, I apparently watched this movie when I was a young kid and I didn't remember anything of it except for this one scene. And I later when I grew up and I figured out what movie it was, I remembered what scene it was and it was a uh, Little Nemo. It's a really, really weird movie if you know the history behind it. A lot of people had to work on it and a lot of people thought it was 
just a terrible thing. And anyway, there's this one scene where this kid lets out this nightmare goo, and the way that the nightmare goo moves around and envelops this one guy really freaked me the fuck out as a kid. To the point where I remember nothing else about the movie. Nothing else. I didn't. I don't even think I sat through to the end of that movie. I just kind of got bored and turned it off because it's actually a fairly boring movie at times. Um, in my opinion, in my opinion. So, um, but I always remember that one scene. I can never remember what movie it was from. And then I saw clips from that movie, and I'm like, oh my god, that's that one fucking movie. Jesus Christ. Just. Look up that clip. I think it's Nightmare King envelops King. Like another king. It just... The way that goo moves around really freaked me out as a kid. I was an easily scared child, I guess. I don't know. Maybe just rotting naked women making out with Jack Nicholson really freaked me out. You know. Not something that everybody else would... Ooh, flame armor. Nobody else would bat an eye at that. Ooh, an armor dancing with flame. Maria! Can you wear the knight's armor? Yes, you can. You know what? Hang on. <laughs> Ordinary clothing. Wear that really quick. I want you to... Aww. Aww, aww. Okay. Fine, I will give to you the knight's armor. Lack of two. You have proven yourself worthy? Yeah, I'll go with worthy. Go with worthy on that. So, how far down is this mask, man? We've gotten... I mean, I know this is a castle, and admittedly it could afford to have this huge underground labyrinth, but still, this seems quite deep. What about the boss of this... Uh, it's probably gonna be like a zombie king or something. Wow! Adam and Tortoise really got it. Right in the chops. We're having turtle soup tonight, boys. Its shell kind of looks like a clam. Doesn't it kind of? It kind of looks like a clam that's eating a turtle that's trying to get out. How weird. Go back and look at it and pause the video and such. I am sick of these rooms. I am sick of these stalagmites. I, I thought they were cool at first, but now they're just bugging the hell out of me. I can't go like two steps without finding one of these things. It's really annoying. I mean, they don't even do that much damage to me, which is nice, but... 770. You're just time consumers. Do they even give me a lot of, well, it's not really XP, but a lot of um, weapon pr proficiency? Well, I, my HP is going up. Oh my god! One step! One freaking step! You are annoying the hell out of me. This probably won't do anything. I'm essentially hitting crystals with crystals, which eh, might might chip them, but won't really damage them. Not like hitting them with a fire arrow or knuckles. Okay. I like Lakitu's evasion. She seems quite good at it. Okay, so then. I spent way too much time in here. Good god, get me out of here. Ooh, I like that little leap forward. Oh no, she's gonna put the two of them asleep, no! Okay, good. We can still run from this. Leave Felix behind while he's napping. Fuck. Go, 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 just go! Just go! God damn it. Fine. Actually. Um, yeah, why not? Maybe this will do something. Wow, that looks cool! That was worth it. Ooh, they're so intimidating. So difficult to hit. Oh no, not this! Whatever will I do? You Ice Queen, how dare you? Get rid of the clam heads. And I'm not talking about the lesbians for once. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, 
I am amused by my own little joke. Tee hee. Oh, don't blind me. How will I ever look at your naked cleavage again? Aha, you see, they didn't really want to... They didn't really want to blind me. They just wanted to like... Oh no, maybe they do. Oh, you hard to get tease. Oh no, they're... Yeah, they're just playing hard to get. Wow, that, that tortoise took it right in the chops. Okay, let's cut through these lesbians like a hot knife through, um... Butter? Yeah, I'll, I'll go with butter. I'll be politically correct and say butter. Doo doo doo. Man, you guys are not good at blinding people. Really gotta work on that. Oh well. Good night. Hey, ooh, a wing sword, really? That's a that's a pretty valuable item you got there. Hey, there we go. Betrayal Fang. Nice. Oh god, we're getting into goo now. Jesus Christ, how many freaking stalagmites are in here? This is just... This is... Is the castle's foundation made up of these things? It, it, it's a little bit of ridiculous. Well, no, it's a lot of ridiculousness. It's... Um, it, are they floating? They must be floating. How are they floating? Are they... Are they magnetically repelled from the floor? Is that is that what's going on? Does that give them some kind of like... Does that help not dull their blades of their hands? Because... I, I don't know. Whatever, we're getting a shit ton of money. This goo that we're walking in looks like... Flesh that's decayed into an ooze. I really am not comfortable walking around in it. You know, Lakitu, if you... Oh my god, thank you. Finally, you're getting strong enough in order to the point where you could kill these things in one shot. Thank you, Lakitu. Leia, Leia, Lalaya. I'm, I'm just sticking with Lakitu. It's funny. Because I don't know how to pronounce things. Uh. I don't know how to do... Oh my god, we better be able to warp out of here. We better be able to warp out of here or I'm going to just lose it. If I have to walk all the way back out of here, you are going to hear me complain the whole way. Come on. Guy, can you just punch this thing already? Okay, fine. Maria can steal the limelight from you. Maria can steal the limelight of killing that limestone abomination. Ori? Wow, I remember that. Oricachilium. Oricliam. Oh my god! We need to protect- this is gonna be a battle. Blind them. No, not us, for God's sakes. Oricachilium. A rare material often used in crafting, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. We gotta heal ourselves. We're not in a detrimental state, but we're not exactly doing too good. Maria has 70 magic, wow. Since when? Oh, great. It would use Berserk on everybody else except for Guy. Just, that's, that's lovely. Okay. Um... We will use... There we go. Crap, this is gonna be really effective, isn't it? Or not. Seven. Oh, hey, there we go. Whee! Oh my god, that looks awesome! Puh. If it missed you, uh, whatever. If it missed you, why did it do the effect on you? Felix, are you just trying to show off with your scooty boots? There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. Now we're glowing all sorts of colors. Punch them to death. Punch, punch their hearts out. Thank you. Wow. We really are punching their hearts out. Oh, I can't wait to see what Guy does. I cannot wait to see the hell that Guy rains down on these fuckers. Go on. Oh my goodness. That was brutal, guy. Wow. 
Do it again. Do it again. Rip their freaking heads off. Take one in each hand and then bite the last one off. Nice. Well, I kind of overprepared for that fight, but I got Oricachelium. Oricleum. I don't know how to pronounce that. Yay. I really don't know how to pronounce that. Um. Damn. Okay. So let's have a look see at this Oricleum. Oricachelium. I don't know what the fuck it is. It is a knife. Interesting. Oh, Lakitu. How is that Oricachelium thing coming? Whoa! So wait, I would put it to 89, 91. There we go. Yes, yes, now I want to keep Lakitu around. Here we go. I can't wait to see how much damage. Oh my god. Woo, that knife was amazing looking. Now we are a force to be reckoned with. By the way, uh, Lakitu, could you please give me the knife back when you die or leave or something? I think I might want to keep it for Kent. I mean, that's a, that's a nice-ass weapon. And you are a nice-ass pirate, but... Eh. I want to see that. 217 again! That's a red blade. So now we know that Oricachelium is made of red. Redness. Oricleum. I don't know what the... How do you even pronounce that? Somebody spell it out phonetically in the comments. I would appreciate it. I'll give you a little heart. I'll reply back to your comments saying... I love you. Ariklium. How am I supposed to know? It doesn't spell it out phonetically. I am perfectly okay with my assumptions. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of doors! Fuck. Whatever will I do?